it's time for another amazing chemistry video with Mr. Stapleton. Proudly sponsored by Farming Doing Nice Coffee. Hi guys, welcome to this next video. It's going to be um, not too long, but this one's going to be all about eutrophication. Okay, so um, eutrophication is a term given to when an excess of nutrients enters the waterways and cause, it causes an increased algal bloom. Um, that results in the death of the waterway. So what we've got over here is we've got our farm. Okay, so here's our farmyard, right, here's our farmyard, and we've got all the crops over here, all right, the crops that they're growing. Now what we do um, is we add fertilizer. All right, now the fertilizer that we add uh, has a very high nitrogen and phosphorus content. Now the reason for that is that increases plant growth or crop growth. All right, so that means our, our crops can grow faster, we can harvest them more readily, which means we get more food in a shorter period of time. Now obviously that's beneficial. Um, for us because we need a lot of food, world um, population is increasing, um, so we need to be able to produce food a lot faster. Uh, amount of land size we're using for agriculture is decreasing as uh, urbanisation spreads as well. So um, we really need to be smart about how we're using the land that we farm. So we add fertilisers in to try and get this high uh, nutrient and phosphorus content because constant farming of the land is depleting that. Now what happens is that this nitrogen and this phosphorus, okay, when it's not used by the plants because we're watering them as well, it enters into our waterways over here. So over here I've got um, Nemo and I've got Dory and they're going to be helping me out today. So in an ideal waterway, okay, we've got um, marine life here like the fish, we've got the plants down the bottom here. The plants grab um, sunlight from the sun which allows them to undergo photosynthesis. Okay, now that photosynthesis releases oxygen into the waterway, all right, and that's um, basically what the animals breathe that allows them to survive. Okay, now what happens when we go through um, eutrophication is a number of things happen, but the first thing is that this increased nitrogen and phosphorus in the waterways acts as a nutrient, okay, so it acts as a nutrient for algae. So what happens is algae, which is a very, very fast growing um, plant, all right, starts to grow and covers the surface of the water. Okay? So as this algae starts to cover the surface of the water, what happens is that it blocks photosynthesis. Okay? So we can no longer have photosynthesis occurring. So what that does, I'm just going to move Nemo and Dory out of the way here for the moment. It means that these plants down the bottom can no longer photosynthesize. That means they're no longer replenishing the oxygen in the waterways. Okay? Now, because these plants can't photosynthesize, they die off. Okay? So they start to die off. Okay? And what happens is basically they turn into just um, bioorganic mass down the bottom. Okay? Now, that bioorganic mass starts to decay. Okay, and it decays aerobically. Okay, and that's important because aerobic decomposition uses oxygen in the waterways. So what we've got is a double problem here. Number one, we have no photosynthesis. Okay, so that reduces our oxygen concentration in the waterway. All right. Number two, we have aerobic decay. So again, that decreases the amount of oxygen in the waterway. Okay? All of that leads to a severe decrease in the oxygen that we have in our waterway. Now what that means is that overall, the amount of oxygen we have decreases and decreases and decreases as the decay of this organic matter continues to occur. All right? And what you've got to remember is that we have still our marine life, like Nemo and Dory, here in the waterway. Now what's going to happen as the oxygen um, depletes gets to the point where the fish can no longer survive. So unfortunately, poor little Nemo dies. Okay. Now what happens is that we have no oxygen left in the waterway. Okay. So what happens is that this, these marine animals start to decompose air anaerobically. Now, anaerobic decomposition, okay, is bad, 
okay? It produces some very, very harmful pollutants, okay? Those pollutants include things like phosphine, PH3, all right, ammonia, NH3, hydrogen sulfide, H2S, okay? It also produces methane gas as well, okay? These are all very, very harmful and toxic to the waterway. So what it does is it continues to kill off the marine environment as these toxins continue to increase, okay? Eventually it gets to the point where the entire waterway dies off, all right? The algae on the surface will start to decompose as well. That will continue to decompose anaerobically, all right? Um, the algae on the surface of the waterway blocks the flow of the water as, the well, uh, as well. So when we have blocked water flow, Okay, that means we cannot all right, replenish any oxygen in the waterway. Because if there's no plants, the other way that um, a um, waterway replenishes oxygen is by movement, it takes it out of the air. So because we've got all this dead matter which is choking up the waterway, it stops the flow of the water. So again, there's no oxygen coming in, there's no chance for it to revitalize itself or replenish itself. So all in all, what this ends up with is the complete degradation of the ecosystem here, the blocked waterway, um, harmful products which makes it unsafe to drink as well, so the entire ecosystem is wrecked. So what we need to be aware of is that even though all right, we need to have increased farming, all right, better farming, we need to add fertilizers in, okay, what we need to be very careful about is how much we're actually adding, okay? Because too much of this nitrogen and phosphorus fertilizer will seep into our waterways if we're not careful and lead to this eutrophication effect, which initially blocks the photosynthesis because the algae grows, grows rapidly on the surface of the water, which causes the plants to die. Those plants no longer produce oxygen. That means the marine animals die. They start decomposing anaerobically, which produces these harmful products, which kills the waterways. All right, so that's eutrophication in a nutshell. Hopefully you've got the hang of it. And um, what I suggest you do is go back and have a look at it. Make sure you can write it out as an extended response because they love putting in um, as an exam question. Hope this helps. Any questions, just ask. Thanks guys.